yeah, so let me uh, demonstrate a little bit about our product, uh, both on the technical side and on the Proton side, to give you an idea about what I'm talking about. So, uh, so Proton is the open source uh, engine we published to make the data engineer more efficiently to process data in Kafka in the IoT, dev IoT devices in uh, fintech data sources. And uh, you can think of this as a CPU engine for you to process data in an efficient way. Uh, in the past, uh, or maybe even today, people is using tools like Apache Flink or KSQLDB or write their own code to process the data by themselves. And uh, it requires a lot of uh, learning uh, and uh, tuning and the infrastructure costs because uh, those are not uh, easy enough to learn and that they are complex and uh, because of the uh, the step is uh, is on JVM and also there's a lot of components and sometimes you have to spend maybe two or three months to really set up a very healthy system. But uh, uh, it's important that uh, we, we build a on top of the clearhouse so it is very efficient and uh, we add a lot of uh, stream processing Processing capability so that uh, you can use this using CQS interface to process data easily. So, for example, uh, I have this demo stack uh, using Repanda as a message bus. So, for people who don't really know too much about Repanda, so it is similar to Kafka. Actually, they using the same API or protocol as Kafka, but uh, uh, Kafka, touch Kafka is written in Java or maybe Star a little bit, and uh, it is very mature product, and the company behind it is confirmed that have the control power, the control platform. So Kafka is almost a de facto data streaming uh, so number one or top three in this space. Uh, and uh, but Repanda is a, a Kafka compatible data streaming system, but uh, they implement using Superfast just like us. So we share a lot of us and let's say we are aiming for easy to use, very efficient, um, and uh, we uh, we have very good integration. So what I'm showing right now is uh, in the in the bottom example folder, and uh, you can see there's a lot of different uh, examples. For example, uh, for the car sharing, which is IoT use case, uh, Coinbase, which is a fintech fraud detection, even hacker news. So in the e-commerce uh, Folder. This is using uh, Docker Compose. It's a very uh, the, this is a quite a simple stack. We have the bottom latest version here, and we have the Repanda as the message bus uh, to different topic for different uh, data. And we have this console, which is this Repanda console is a nice UI for you to view all the message in the in the topic. And, the modern data engineer today, that is, uh, you have all the data in different system, maybe in Postgres database, you may be in Snowflake, uh, in our some other transaction system. But it is very common to consolidate them together in Kafka or Panda or Kinesis as a message bus. Then you need a tool to process that data. And the, a very common choice today is Spark. Uh, the problem that is, uh, it is, uh, Relatively heavy and complex tool for you to learn in the team and set up. So, uh, for example, if now we have uh, this uh, list of topics, imagine you want to monitor how your site is being visited. All right, so, if you, which, which, uh, which user is uh, purchasing which product and uh, whether your, your recent marketing campaign gets uh, the, the right impact you want. So Rapanda and all Kafka give you this opportunity to put any, any data into the system, it's a JSON or maybe error or all those messages can be put in in a very flexible way and uh, you need to analyze those data. For example, here we have all the IP address, we have the CP method, or maybe have the size. You may want to understand like, uh, how many, how many, Request is using post, how many is using get. Or maybe you can do more interesting stuff like uh, which uh, country or which state is visiting which category. So mm -hmm. the idea that is you, you, you have, you, you consolidate your data in 
in the end, uh, this is not the problem we saw from tens of thousands. This is assuming this is already set up. How tens of thousands can tell me that is you already have all the data consolidated in a very nice data streaming platform. Then uh, let's using Quantum to understand this particularly without being set up a very complex step. So, um, so we have Quantum. For example, I think I will have Quantum right now. For, for example, this is uh, the Quantum client. We are using uh, the latest Quantum and uh, I show string, which is there's no data available, no data, no data defined. Right now. So, example that is uh, for say, uh, this is the docs.tempass.com, bottom, this is our documentation, feel free to read more. So uh, we, we do have a way to read or write Kafka. Uh, so in this example, we can, we can using a snow stream like this. So we define a, define a, maybe a table or stream and a point to the Raplanda topic. And uh, we can get this, uh, Data easily. So uh, copy mm -hmm. this one. So run this. And you can see if now if I say select a star from the front end JSON, you can, I mean, this this query never ends. This is also an interesting way that is uh, uh, traditionally CQ is, uh, is a bounded query. Uh, you, you query a range for your snowflake or your Postgres. And, uh, no matter you wait for one second or one minute, you get the result. But in our case, the CPU is always running because it's a data mm -hmm. And you can, you can, for sure, you can have uh, ways, for example, I only care about the method, I only care about uh, IP address. For example, in this case, you uh, you can do the uh, select certain field or can you have some where well calls for sure. Or you can have uh, aggregation, uh, a method count. And, uh, maybe we can group by method. So this is a very simple example that is so uh, we can uh, list uh, how many events for certain hosts or certain method, and uh, this will give you a periodical result. And, uh, but so this is also based on our default uh, behavior that is every two seconds. That uh, if you want to get the output, uh, say every five five seconds, so you can have stuff like this. You can start. So I, I explain a little bit. That is, uh, uh, we we have this uh, window called combo window, which so every so it's uh, misspelled so. Yeah, that's right. So uh, every five seconds, there's a window. And in that window, we, we calculate how many events in that window. But, and there's some, some other window, for example, sliding window that is, uh, it's not uh, like tumble, it's uh, every five seconds, we can have a window moving in, in the period. So it's more like, give me results every one second for the past five seconds, for example. So mm -hmm. those are very interesting way for you to keep uh, monitoring the data and uh, without uh, waiting for the next interval. Right? So traditionally, people know there's uh, some clown job, there's some ETL. You either wait for one day or maybe you wait for every hour to get to the new new data. But uh, in the streaming world, with the popular tool like Kafka. Uh, and the uh, Rapunda and Pulsa, now it is very easy for you to keep getting data. Now you need to a way to process data in an efficient way, in a continuous way. And that's how we can work. And, uh, this is the engine side, but in the same time, we have the uh, time pass, which is more like uh, adding extra UI, adding the cloud friendly uh, interface. For example, uh, it give you a very quick demo that is to say, you can define different uh, source or different processing logic and you can combine them together as, as the data lineage or sometimes we call it a DAG. So you can easily understand what say for for some 
so this might be too big, too small, but so say for a certain data source, this is the view defined, and then how other views is created based on that view. So you can better understanding like uh, if if there's some data quality issues, which component you should be spending more time on it. And similarly, mm -hmm. we have some query interface, we have uh, our dashboard alerting systems. Maybe I can show a little bit. For example, we we do folks we do have a lot of customer in the fintech area. So for example, mm -hmm. if you notice the, the 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 price of uh, Web three of Bitcoin right in the last year. So uh, if you can really set up a very uh, a kind of a new project to understand the the Bitcoin price, have some strategy implemented, you might have a chance to to get some financial return. So. So we, we, we do provide a, a very solid tool for them to do the basic the data ETL, or they can do the, some sophisticated uh, trading strategy or at least the price and alerts for them to either buy or sell or pay attention. We have some customer using us for security use cases, for example, whether you are doing DDoS attacks or some other IoT cases, uh, for example, if you have many cars on the street, which which area need a more car or whether people are having some issue for your logging or some transaction. So that's a lot of things you can do, but essentially those are data problems. And we are being, we are very good at processing the data. Yep. Well, so that, any questions so far? Yep. Th thank you so much for the demo, Joe. Um, so with, thank you much. With, uh, with Time Plus, basically, if we have an, an existing Kafka or Red Panda pipeline, we can just throw time plus on front of it, and we can get real-time um, insights via um, these queries and charts and and more, right? Yeah, we, we do spend a lot of time to integrate so with different tools, right? So uh, Kafka protocol is obviously uh, the number one tool we support in, in the Proton. So, uh, so we, we do uh, validate how we connect to Confirm Cloud, Mm -hmm. Upstream is uh, the other Kafka alternative, Upstash, and uh, some other cases that is uh, you might want to push data from your sensor, from your IoT devices, from any other system to uh, to Proton. You, you may or may not uh, put them in. So that's also why we have our REST API. So this is a little uh, differentiator if you are familiar with so, for example, Clubhouse. Clubhouse, again, is a great uh, OLAP system, but it's not designed for you to keep pushing data to it, especially if we're talking about small amount of data. So the best practice, actually, for Clubhouse is you you have either a Kafka or you, you accumulate the data by yourself and put them in a big batch and send it to Clubhouse. In that mm -hmm. case, but, uh, you might lose this uh, low latency. You might have to wait either, say, one second or one minute. So we, we enhance this part a lot in Proton because we do have our own streaming storage. So we have our REST API, you can just push any data to us in whatever interval, as small as a single byte, but we can make sure that kind of data will be in our streaming storage and streaming processor immediately. So you can, I don't have time today, but you can check my other demo data so we can have some mm -hmm. interesting way to say you, you, you install some app on your iPhone or Android and then you shift it and all the data is pushed to the bottom and you can visualize using user mm -hmm. uh, yeah, actually I remember that demo. Yeah, 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 it, was, it was very cool. <laughs> awesome. It was great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much. Yeah, just, yeah. There's, a, there's many things. Yeah, there's many things I can show, but uh, I guess the, the key point that is everyone may facing Kind of slightly different data problem. Uh, you might worry about the data quality. You might uh, don't want to save too many data. You only select uh, the important data, high value data to your underlying system. Uh, those problems are real. And I think uh, Flink or Spark or Minata tool have been there for a long time. But uh, now you have a new tool in your toolbox and it is very efficient. As, it's as, as small as I think it's four megabytes. Uh, binary, and you don't really need to worry about JVM. Uh, 
we have some nice UI on the cloud, but also we see that all using other tools like DB Weaver, the favorite tool you're familiar with to run your CPU. But uh, you don't have to worry about the JVM, you don't have to worry about the cluster. And I think this is give you a very good way to validate your idea. And uh, of course, we support cluster. And uh, when you do the more complex data project, and you can, you can add a component to it. But uh, for the starting point, we hope this can be used. I don't think that's an easier way in the market to give you such a tool to run your stream security. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Uh, I learned a little nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, the last thing that is, yeah, give us a star. I mean, we just open sourced uh, about uh, three months ago. So um, I, I think uh, such tools really need uh, more people to try give feedback. And the give us star can, is one of the great way to help promote the product. And uh, yeah, we can build the community and build the, uh, move this to the next level together. Yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you so much.